today is October 27th, 23. God. I told you, you do realize what kind of psycho bitch the Vegas are. Seriously. And I will tell you, waiting 14 years because the attempts on my life to hire people to drug me, rape me, to try to kill me because a minister lied to them and they're millionaires. Hmm? I want you to think of that. Uh, now the church they go to did something so shitty to somebody in the 1980s. They firebombed their church. I always thought it was them that did it. Because they were supposed to have got warnings they were going to do it. And then it got happened. That If you're going to do something that horrible, you don't tell people that. See, that's why I thought it was a setup so they could get the insurance money. But they said they did something really bad to somebody and they got even with them. In the 80s. Okay. But do you realize how psycho they are? That couple Sunday in Coles went to Lisa. Was she getting well before she got all the way well and said yes. Nobody even thought anything of it when she finally got well. Tell strange that it. No, uh, then everybody believed it. So they made sure that her and Dave got a divorce and she ended up with nothing. They hired those men to drug beat and rape her and do all those things to her. Because Strain said she was faking she was sick and faking she got well. And they knew they were killing other people here at the ones they hired. If they knew they were killing other people, you better stay out of it. He said, I know. He said, and Dave's remarried to a girl, and they're mad that he remarried that girl. I bet she's 40 years younger, or close to, Filipino and not apostolic. He's living a dark lower life. I want you to get the, the idea how much they can get on selling porn. My neighbor, Mike, that got roofied and lost a whole night, drove around high all night and didn't know where he'd been. Uh, he had a girlfriend. Uh, once and he went over and they were together and she had little teddy bears sitting around didn't think anything of it and they were teddy cams sold them him and her on porn sites he shows up a couple months later at her house and she um has mo like 50 grand so where'd you get all that money oh i sold us on porn sites where were that he was so mad he broke up with her if he would have told the police she would have went to jail for like three to 16 years his male party didn't turn her in. He said, my naked ass is on the internet. So think about all the men that raped me. Them showing pornography of me going to the bathroom. They sold on porn sites. How many, how much money they made. She made that much on one video. Now... With them hiring where they said we're the king, we work for the king from Texas. We are his men. He sent us here. We're the ones that watch her. They talked about him here in Canton. They talked about him in Louisville, Warren, around the Ravenna Courthouse, Macedonia. And that's that one that the king has his men watch and take care of. And that are doing this. And they, that's how they put it. He's a drug lord. Very much a drug lord. Looked him up. Fat no king. United's. One of the biggest ones in the United States. That's who they hired. He had ties into all the other drug cartels. Brought them all here. And that's why they pounced on Ohio. In 17 and 18. And why all those people. Got killed and taken. Because why would they pick Ohio? Hmm? We're fourth in the nation. No. In human trafficking. Serial killing. Yeah. Think about that. Now, as far as the ones working with retired Judge Pete, he's playing you like a fool. Retired judges have no authority. Um, the Fourth Amendment stops illegal monitoring in your home completely. He knew that. You can't touch anything with conflict of interest for friends and family. Dave was dating his daughter at one point. He gets thrown out and they go to jail. You go to jail for illegal monitoring. He's playing like a fool. He's in it with a drug cartel. 
like the retired judge in Florida that was human trafficking, he was in it with him. He's playing you like a fool. Absolute fool. He knew nothing would be admissible. And nobody could look at it. And you do realize where they said they had sodium pentothal reports? It's outlawed in the country. It's lethal and shuts your airway down. It's like them saying they did anthrax to me. Shut your airway down. Okay? Side of, it's an anesthetic that they would use in surgeries. And, of course, they assist with your breathing with that. And, but it was so lethal, people were dying, and they outlawed it in the country. The side effect, when you come out of it, you'll say yes to anything. You know, meant to Pearl Harbor, da 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 So, and it's spy flick movie stuff. Made for movie stuff. It's just something, okay? So, I want you to think. They went in and told a federal officer they were bringing a lethal outlaw drug into the country and using it on people. Now, did he do all of this to get them for bringing a substance that, <sighs> saying they have a substance that's outlawed in our country that shuts down people's airway and they're using it on people? Hmm? Did that agent trick them that he would actually help them for a made-up lie that a minister made up when it's a documented medication error? Um, that he just pretended to go along with them? So he could get their drug dealers because they're saying they're bringing a lethal outlaw drug into the country and using it on people. That's how not funny it was them saying they had sodium pentothal reports. Like the cops said it wasn't even funny. They were saying they used it on me. You can't even get it. And it shuts your airway down. It's attempt to murder. Now, did he play them to get their drug dealers? Because he's the one that told on me to that church at Apostolic Church of Barberton. It's verified by the Norton Barberton police. He told on me before I called him back from the hotline. He told him he knew I was being drug beat, ramped, and didn't care, and tried to blame Strange's lie. Why would you go along with uh, religious heresy? Hmm? Because you're playing somebody? Hmm? It's a 15 year old lie by then. Why would you go along with it? You're playing them? Hmm? Why would he laugh at me like a drunken cat on a bar stool for some sexual predator illegally monitoring me, framing me, and how I didn't know? Dave said he hired the sexual predator himself. When you set up button cameras, it's illegal monitoring. It's peaking Tom tapes his four years and you get uh, listed a sexual predator. And then you go to jail. Hmm? That's how illegal it is. It's like a seven-year sentence. Sex trafficking videos of somebody naked, altered or not, is 3 to 16. Then you got uh, drugs, beat, rape, human trafficking. They were looking at life in federal for talking to that officer. And him bullying a rape victim, how I didn't know about some guy named Pete's tape. And he didn't arrest Pete for being a sexual predator and framing me. But mocked the victim and laughed at her like a jackass. He confessed he talked to Dave because Dave said he hired the sexual predator on his own. And him repeating Strange's lie, he talked to Strange. Strange was the only one telling it. You know, another thing is I heard Strange even changed his lie that where it took me nine months to get well. He even knew, he thought I was on morphine, that Dave told him they were going to take me off all the medication. It was the medication making me sick. And they were going to put me on muscle relaxers and morphine patches. They were actually found on patches. They're strong. <clears throat> so and get me out moving and I get better and everybody watched me over nine months get better now I am going to tell you um, he even knew it and he just made up that lie in October where I found out where I got well in July because it took me nine months it was two months later after that traffic accident I had nothing to do with Phil arrogantly ran a stop sign into a semi he killed himself and his grandson. It's no more different than if he tried to beat a train and he ran a, ra a railroad track with the lights flashing and the train hit him. There's no more difference than him running that stop sign in front of a semi. Okay? 
because he didn't even try to break in front of a whole bunch of people when we were at home. I got well in July. I found out, strange told people that I was supposed to have stood up in the funeral, yell, God healed me and walked around. That never happened. I didn't get well till July and I was almost well in May. Um, I got my prescription refilled in June for the fentanyl patches. If I was well in May, I wouldn't have not needed them in June. The prescription flat out said July. I mean June. He lied to everybody. See what I mean? And he kept changing his life. And they all knew better. Karen around the house, FBI informant, is the church has taken up money to hire men to kill me. Okay? And it was Keith Bishop, Strange, and Ron taking up 25000 because Ron wanted me dead because I got well the years kid died. Strange to lie of the faking you were sick and faking you got well and for Dave to get everything. That's the FBI case. Some guy up in Akron said I looked her up. It is the case. Now they're hiring people to yell crazy crap at her and harass her and run around saying stuff about her. They're going to also start putting threats on my life. When they usually put threats on my life, it doesn't take much longer before somebody shows up. I do need out of here. That agent, like the police officer said, uh, I talked to a, the Department of Justice. If they listed her informant for any reason, they owe her money for the rest of her life. And even the police could not be in her home unless he listed her an informant with statements of threats on her life. It's entrapment if police or agencies do it. Otherwise, they're picking Tom Tate's. It was done by a fentanyl king that is dark web, malware, military, Iraqi. Photoshopping is nothing. Send his men here and all the other drug cartels to human traffic and attack Ohio. I'll tell you what, I was out on Turquoise Street and off in the distance after Sunday where that uh, couple were talking about uh, Lisa confessing that she hired those. Oh my goodness, I looked it up. That Lisa confessed she hired those men to drug beat and rape her and she knew and do all those things to her. And she knew they were killing other people here. Nobody say a word. See, even retired Judge Pete has no authority. He's retired. He can't touch something with a conflict of interest. He's working with a draw card. Hmm? I never talked to him. I didn't even know who he was for a year. Still never talked to him. He would know the Fourth Amendment protects your house. That nobody it shall not be violated. The Michigan drug dealers were out on Chapler Church Road in Navarre last year. They slammed on the brakes and was screaming at somebody. And said, what do you mean they taped her before? No one could be in her home before. There's no such thing. I looked it up. The worst thing she did wrong was bend over improperly. While my client's neighbor yelled at him and said, well, knock it off. Because he made up the second part. And he said, me and my men are out here in Michigan lab last year. Because I realized they're being manipulated. Even the drug dealers knew nobody could be in my home. It's a big scam. And Pete's scamming everybody into helping out. They found uh, where they told that client in Navarre, her neighbor, March or April of 22, that retired Judge Pete ordered everything to be drugged and photoshopped and made up on me. They also found May 26, 22 at noon, my phone's tapped. The shower scene was done on purpose to make you look weird. But like they said, where I was just waking up with bruises, throwing up, heart racing, almost passing out. Um, and a severe personal infection where they were drug me and raping me under drugs so I wouldn't know what happened to me and I just wake up like that. Do you realize how sick that is? They could have even drugged her and told her to do that and then Photoshop that later. That's why nobody knew about it. But uh, my friend Jim, his son, edits movies for a living uh, that you watch on TV. He's got a special app in his phone that he can change your clothes, change everything. He can make you do anything, and he can take words out of other sentences and retape over it. You can Photoshop anything. Where the police out of this area said, are your local police slow? And they already said they knew they could do that.
that nothing is trustworthy. And now we're talking about hackers. They have admitted to racing some guy named Chris out of a room and then the police steering the protected custody case uh, seeing them up in Ravenna, I confronted Dave of a guy walking towards our house. The, I actually caught him while they were doing it. It froze. I went to restart it. He was gone. And there was footprints in the snow. They erased him off of my own security cameras outside. I only had three outside. One to the back porch, front porch, and side yard. We started laying a camera on the boat with an extension cord. When people would pull in and look at me in the end of September. This was done. Like they said, a bunch of Muslims are doing this. I That's where the women with uh, hijab showed up. Said they worked for the king. They were at Oakland Apartment. They were on 13th Street. They were in Warren. They were in Ravenna. They were in Macedonia. Follow me. Sunday, I was at Goodwill Outlet on Whipple. Some men, about four men come in. We went up to that church. There was an FBI agent up there. We looked her up, and her, her whole family defended her. The one set of kids got caught stating they were lying for that girl to get the house and everything, and that was it. What on earth is going on? We found out it's a bunch of Muslims doing this to her. exactly where I told that agent someone told on me he called me a liar it was verified by the Norton Barberton police it was him if he did all this so he could go after their drug dealers he still fed me to the drug cartel and let them rape human traffic his informant while he went after him that's as dirty as hell and if they paid him off like they did the sheriff in Ohio to let them, uh, and he they paid off a sheriff a hundred grand to let them run wild. How much did they give John? You know, I used to go in Walmart 62, and people around me would say, John's here to take care of Karen. I look over and a group of men would walk in. It's ridiculous for any child to be afraid of Karen. She's nothing but good and love. And they would tell Walmart and scream it. They even told people, Will gave Karen no wrongdoing in life. Because she wouldn't abuse it. Even the main car. I have one traffic ticket. That even that agent knew it's innocent. See, that's where one of uh, my security guards on December 9, 21, Star County hung, uh, Hunger Task Force on 9th Street, white man bald with dark eyes, came out. We always knew the tapes before were them and not her, so we never said a word. Where that agent laughs at me for some sexual predator stalking my home, photoshopping some kind of washing scene. And I didn't know who he was talking about or what he was talking about because it's photoshopped and I never talked to him in some kind of roofie confession where I just had bruises and sick and I never had these people in my home. And they're laughing at me for some sexual predator like some drunken cats on a bar stool instead of police officers mocking a victim. Why would they do that? They pay him off. Or do they do it to go after the big drug dealers? Because they brag they brought a lethal outlaw drug in the United States that shuts off your airways. Sort of like anthrax. Think about that. And they were using it on people. And bullying me so I'd be too afraid while they went after them. They still fed their informant. You still owe my money. You told me to that church, Dave. Told Danny you talked to him. Like those guys said, we went up to that church. There was an FBI agent up there. It was verified by the police up there that worked security. That it was agent that called me back, told on me the night before. And with his own confession of repeating strangest life, why would you go along with lunacy? You're going to wait 14 years to kill somebody on a lie? Seriously. Think about that. How morbid son of a bitches did this to me. Psycho bitch. Photoshop a washing scene, drug you up. They're supposed to have, people have laughed in my face that they told me that I was supposed to be a flasher, hurt people, weirdo. And I'm like, ew. No, you want to think about it. You're going to drug somebody up and tell them to say something stupid. Couldn't I have been a bank robber? 
Seriously. Car thief, jewel thief, something exciting. A weirdo that flashes people and hurts people? Really? And people would laugh in my face like it was funny that drug cartels were breaking in and drugging me up and beating raping me like it was funny. There's not enough money in the world to find any of that funny. Like they said in Alliance a month ago, nobody should have found anything funny in this at all. It was done by a sexual predator. That's how fast they should have been arrested and me head. They could have always went after him later. They sacrificed me. I deserve my money. And I told the president and I told the CIA and they have them on a recorded line talking to me like a drunken cat. Like people were talking in Target a month ago with that old man drugging her up at a bar. He could have told her to stand there and do it and then Photoshop that later. That makes more sense than the washing scene. It's like they left that they photoshopped everything. Racing some guy named Chris out of them. I never had a Chris in my house. I never had any of these people in my home. See, that's where people laugh at me. And the people that violated me. I've still never talked to me. The more you think about that, my rapist that was stalking me. And Dave said he hired on his own. You can't hire someone to stalk somebody. You can't break somebody else's right to privacy. You can't break somebody's right to remain quiet in an attorney. You can't break somebody else's constitutional rights. Let alone because a bitch didn't die with four attempts. You have the drug cartel framer with roofies. And then it's coming down where Lighthouse Tabernacle made fun of FBI agent John June 7, 23 for falling for it. You fell for roofied confessions and photoshopping and washing? I had girls in Target bust out laughing. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine her face when those people would show up and say they drugged her and told her to say this and that and she can't talk to anybody? Could you imagine the expression on her face with people laughing at her for doing that to her? And all these people have is that. And where they photoshopped a washing scene and stocking tapes? You're kidding. And they're saying stuff to her? And that's all they got? And they were laughing in Target like a month ago. October 6, 23. Uh, Walmart 62. Two women walk around me. Okay. Uh, we talked to those officers that watch her. Those men that watch her? Yes. They said that she's never said she did anything wrong before. All these people have is their stocking tapes where they admitted they drugged her and told her to say stuff before, photoshopped everything on her before, and made everything up in stocking tapes by the food aisle. And then they said a bunch of other stuff. That they, that it's that guy from the case stealing the, my money. That's what they said December 2nd, 22, the agent that opened my case uh, stole all my money. There's a good chance that maybe if he wasn't doing this to go after the drug cartel, they paid him off. Because why would you make fun of a rape victim on a recorded line and like you're going along with him? He was either playing them to go after him and he sacrificed his informant to the drug cartel while he went after the big guys. They owe me a lot of money and they need to sweeten the deal for that one. I have a debt in my head. I've been raped, tortured, human trafficked publicly. And sold videos of it to regular people. Well, he went after the big guy. That's dirty. You don't sacrifice a human being. And then if they paid him off, they really need to get him. Because they've even screamed up an Akron as that idiot stealing her money. Someone needs to take care of that idiot. And I deserve my money. And I wrote the president, and I wrote the NSA. They, that fentanyl king hacked into an FBI informant case and sold it. Sold it. Because if that agent sold it, it's, oh. But they're say, actually saying that fentanyl king did it. The dark web malware. This was child's play. Photoshopping and drug, drugging people was the biggest scam by Iraqis. I want you to think about that. Dark web malware, one of the biggest fentanyl dealers in the U.S. They, if that agent wouldn't have been screaming at me, 
the men on the other side of the duplex had a copy of my phone and were outside mocking me before I called the FBI. That's wiretapping. They're hackers. This was child's play to them. I'm going to upload this. Somebody needs to get a hold of a Star County judge or a Portage County judge, take my protected custody case, the money was embezzled, and the informant didn't get a paid. And like my friend from the prosecutor's office, they have to pay you the rest of your life if you were five minutes a case, an hour a case. They got 800 drug traders, human trafficking people. They got a fentanyl king, uh, one of the biggest ones in the United States. And they got a man impersonating a prince from Africa, scamming people out of almost a million dollars. It was an enormous case. I like my money. And that her money got misdirected. I need a new name and I need to fly and fuck out of here. They start leaving threats. Usually somebody shows up. I'm too old for this shit. I was too old for this shit when it started. Everybody turn Lisa and them in. They're bragging. They're the ones doing it. And they're millionaires and they think they can do whatever they want. They can't. They need to end up in jail the rest of their life. And if they pull the case, Dave will be working with the Kingsmen from Texas and the former group. They got him. In a protective custody case that stands up in court without 